With the parish of St. Catherine under a one-week lockdown due to the surge in COVID-19 cases, face masks are now a requirement when traveling throughout the parish. Residents have been complying and the demand for masks has even given rise to several businesses at a time when jobs are under threat. But just how safe is your mask? Krista Campbell went asking. Same way there appears to be no end in sight to the COVID-19 pandemic, there seems to be no limit to the creativity of persons trying to adjust and protect themselves from the virus. And when opportunity calls, Jamaicans answer. It's fast become a business, the making and sale of masks. And for the station with eyes virtually everywhere, the TVJ news team was in St. Thomas, St. Catherine, St. Elizabeth and St. Mary. I guess people making them, but they don't know about the quality material. No, because in the sewing thing, I know what is quality material. You're going to perspire through your nose, you know, mm -hmm. so the J-cloud will absorb the perspiration right there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, soak in the rest of the cloth and stick it up. Okay. That's where the J-cloth come in handy. And, it's, and it feel comfortable. Because the material, it mm -hmm. is cotton material. Masks in limited supply, not even healthcare workers are able to get the quantity of surgical and N95 masks needed to care for COVID-19 patients. Members of the public have been asked to stop buying these masks and instead get those made from fabric which are also reusable. But not just any cloth, as medical practitioner Dr. Michael Abrams explains. It's important that you have at least, at least two layers of cloth or fabric and preferably with a filter. If it's a filter like this one, this filter can be reused. You can wash it and dry it and use it again. Otherwise, you can use other materials as filters. Almost any material that is porous can work. For example, um, coffee filters or filters from vacuum bags or other devices. A simple test of just how protected you are in your mask. Meanwhile, Dr. Abrams stressed that there's no point in wearing a mask if it doesn't fit snugly and completely covers your nose and mouth. Now, putting on your mask might seem easy enough, but how you wear, handle and remove the protective equipment may require a little more work than you think. Dr. Abrams explains. He says before you put on your mask, make sure you wash your hands properly, then adjust it so it fits well. While wearing the mask, it's important not to touch the outer surface of the mask because if you're wearing it to partially protect yourself and it's contaminated and you touch the outer surface of the mask and then, for example, touch your eye or touch another object, you're going to be spreading the virus, which is what you don't want. And when you're removing the mask, not to remove it from the front, to remove it from behind the ears. If it's a disposable mask, it should be disposed of immediately. If it's a reusable mask, you wash it as soon as you can. And while no mask gives perfect protection, Dr. Abrahams stressed it's important to protect yourself from anyone who may have the virus and not show symptoms. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.